OK, so here's the latest Bitcoin drama. People are jumping ship from Bitcoin Core and switching to something called Bitcoin Knots. And no, this isn't some new altcoin scam. It's still Bitcoin. Knots is just a different flavor of Node software. Core has been the default forever. It's the boring, invisible operating system of Bitcoin, like Windows, except instead of crashing, it occasionally nukes the network's sanity. And now, Core is about to drop version 30 this October, an update that basically opens the floodgates for people to jam random junk into the blockchain forever. If you missed the full saga of this terrible idea, go watch our earlier video on Core V30. Enter Bitcoin Knots. Knots is maintained by Luke Dasher. Yes, pronounced like Santa's reindeer, only instead of delivering toys, he delivers Twitter wars and a massive no to blockchain spam. Knots is basically core with extra filters and control knobs. It lets you say, nope, I don't want my node relaying or storing garbage like ordinals, runes, JPEGs or cursed MP4s. Why does this matter? Because once Core opens that door, people are worried Bitcoin nodes will be stuck permanently hosting everything from memes to illegal content. Imagine explaining to law enforcement that, no, I'm not personally storing that nightmare file, it's just my money software that is. And people are actually flocking to Knots. A year ago, Knots was barely a blip, about 1% of all nodes. Now, it's nearly 18% of the network and climbing fast. That's thousands of people basically yelling, not my hard drive, pal. This fight is about Bitcoin's soul. Core says Bitcoin should be neutral. If it's valid and someone pays the fee, it goes through. Not says, neutral doesn't mean I have to be your free Dropbox. For you, the everyday trader, here's the upshot. Your Bitcoin is not forking in half tomorrow, but if spam and illegal content clog the network, your fees go up, your transactions crawl, and the legality of the network may even be threatened. If knots keeps growing, some kinds of transactions, especially spammy ones, might travel slower or even get dropped. If you run a node, you'll eventually need to pick a side, either cause open gate, rolling the dice on what gets through, or Knotts' spam filter stopping the junk and illegal content cold. So yeah, this isn't just nerd drama. It's about whether Bitcoin stays focused on money or turns into an eternal junk drawer no one can ever clean out. And judging by how fast Knotts is growing, a whole lot of people are already voting with their nodes and saying, I'm not storing your spam. So what can you, the average Bitcoiner, do? You can run your own node and improve the network. If you'd like to start, go to bitcoinnots.org. And if you'd like me to do a video on getting started with knots, subscribe and leave a comment and I'll make one.